What's up, my nostalgia? Dave here with a review of Flo Millie's third album, Fine Ho Stay. Flo Millie, rising rapper, has made a lot of noise the last few years, and this is the third instance in the Flo Ho trilogy, following, of course, her 2020 debut, Ho Why Is You Here, and 2022's You Still Hear Ho. Now we're with Fine Ho Stay. The best thing about Flo Millie's third album, Fine Ho Stay, is that Flo has diversified her sound as an artist and now really stands out as one of the preeminent rappers that we have you know she's one of many rising female mcs we've got these days being a female rapper is no longer a novelty and Flo millie has already kind of made a lot of noise with some pre-existing hits like be flow mix and roaring 20s conceded you, you know the songs but Flo millie with this third album and particularly her first song on the chart on the top 100 Never Lose Me. That song in particular really shows that Flo has more melodic stuff to her sound. She can dabble in some R&B. She can find some different pockets. She's not just going to be a punchline rapper, even though she's really great at that. I think the fact that Flo has expanded what she is, what her music means, it's a great sign that she's going to be around for a long time. Because she was already really good at what she, uh, you know, had been known for. And the first song on this project, Understand, is a great example of that really energetic flow from flow. But a song like Toast, which is just so sing-songy, it just feels so different from her. So I'm just really excited that even on, again, a pretty tight project from her, this is 14 songs, 33 minutes. It's short and sweet, but there's just enough variety on this that I think we can really say that Flo Millie is progressing. Flo Millie is taking that next step and that's just really exciting because you know the rap world i think really needs this right now it's been a little bit stale on the new artist side of things and the fact that you're getting a so very young in her early 20s artist able to diversify what she can do and contribute even more it's great that she's being rewarded by that with her song never lose me and to get such high profile guest features on the remix to Never Lose Me, SZA and Cardi B. SZA had been teased and hinted at Cardi B, a complete surprise, and both of them really bring it. It's also just an amazing cosign for her as is a rising uh, rap star, you know, female star in pop. Another song I liked was Got the Juice. I think the, f- the flow is very fun. The horns on the production sound really cool. I saw some people comparing that to like a Lotto song. Honestly, I definitely hear it. You know, I think if anything, there's anything to really criticize is that some of those songs that you expect of the traditional, typical Flo Millie song, you get some of those on this. And, you know, did, did I hear a banger in her old school sound to the degree of B-Flow mix? No, I didn't. But we say that about a lot of artists once they've released enough music, so it's not the biggest deal. To me, the diversification from Flo Millie is the main takeaway. And yeah, I'm just really happy that she's finding that success and being rewarded for taking some chances and not keeping it safe, sticking to what she already had made her bones on and been most successful with. So very exciting. Flo Millie, I remain a fan. Happy to see the success. Let me know. What did you think, though, about Flo Millie's third album, Fine Host Stay? Did you appreciate the risks and changes she took? What was your favorite song? And for more rap reviews, more music reviews, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.